As we take a look back at 2021, I'm joined by Inspector Lee Brockman from the Lloydminster RCMP. Thank you so much for being here today, Inspector Brockman. Uh, first of all, I was just going to ask you to kind of take us through what 2021 looked like for the RCMP and how uh, crime was in the city. I appreciate that, uh, Jace. Thanks for having me uh, here today. Uh, I think overall, uh, 2021 has been uh, fairly successful with respect to uh, Lloydminster RCMP um, operations and initiatives. Uh, we've been engaging a lot with uh, with the community, and I'll go through some of our, I guess, some of our uh, key priority areas and kind of what we've accomplished there, if, if that works. Um, so I'll start first by uh, by saying that uh, you know uh, the Lloydminster RCMP definitely appreciates the support of the community of Lloydminster um, and, and the residents here. Uh, you know we're we're definitely feeling uh, the support of our community, which is good. Um, you know over the last couple of years we've been engaging with uh, with the community through various prior to COVID uh, town halls in person and, and post COVID or during COVID, uh, town halls virtually and things like that. And, and you know, we're, we're getting a lot of good engagement. We're hearing some some feedback and we're trying to integrate that into our operations, right? And um, and so I guess, first of all, uh, one of our key priorities is reducing crime by focusing on uh, property crime, reducing gang violence and, and dealing with some drug crime issues as well. That's one of our priorities for 2021. And, uh, you know, I'll hi highlight some key, uh, key areas that we've been working on. So uh, back in April uh, 2021, uh, the Lloyd Mr. RCMP detachment organized a multi-unit uh, enforcement initiative aimed at addressing street-level gang activity, and that was following an uptick uh, in gang-related violence in the early spring. There, so uh, this initiative was held in partnership with uh, with a, a large uh, swath of, of our enforcement partners within the RCMP, including uh, the Lloydminster Detachment, Lloydminster General Investigation Section, Lloydminster Crime Reduction Unit, uh, RCMP, the Alberta RCMP. Or uh, emergency response team, East Alberta District's crime reduction unit, and uh, police dog services from uh, Lloydminster as well. Um, overall, in terms of uh, this, this is an enforcement initiative, uh, as I mentioned, and it resulted in you know 41 gang-related arrests, along with uh, seizures of uh, drugs and, and weapons and things like that. So uh, overall, positive from an, an enforcement perspective. And we held a similar uh, initiative back in October as well, uh, and that resulted in the arrest of 39 people and uh, 87 outstanding arrest warrants were were executed, and, and numerous new uh, charges related to gang activity were uh, were laid, and, and you know some additional. Uh, weapons and drugs were seized too. So, uh, but you know, in addition to enforcement, uh, Lloydminster RCMP has also uh, built in a gang exit component into our crime reduction strategy as well. And so, uh, for example, the Lloydminster RCMP, uh, particularly our school resource officers, uh, held a gang exit workshop along with a gang awareness program in partnership with uh, our partners at the Lloydminster Community Youth Center. And uh, so, we're really trying to ensure that our policing strategies take into account um, not just enforcement, but uh, some of the wraparound. Uh, efforts as well to try to address some of those underlying factors associated with criminality so so that we're not solely uh, enforcement oriented in our approach to, to community safety so we're really trying to engage with our partners to, to develop strategies to address some of those underlying root causes like i mentioned before uh, associated to criminality and social disorder behavior and things like that uh, you know we've participated in the community roundtable meetings that were created and chaired by grace united church things like that right so you know we, we believe that community safety and well-being doesn't exist in silos and that uh, working with our partners is an essential part to reducing criminal behavior right so and that not every solution requires an, a policing enforcement response. Um, you know, throughout the summer as well, the Lloydminster RCMP in partnership with the Lloydminster Co-op in the city of Lloydminster uh, to engage with, with our youth uh, as well, right? So that's, that's another positive thing. Uh, we're also continuing to, to do outreach and build relationships with diverse communities, recognizing that there are communities within the, the larger RC, uh, Lloydminster community. So, and uh, so we developed, uh, the Lloydminster RCMP developed a diversity inclusion advisory committee as well. Uh, and uh, we've also been partnering, uh, engaging with uh, other partners like the Lloydminster Local Immigration Partnership. And we've had uh, chats with the COP in partnership with the Bee Fisher Society. So really we, you know, we're, we're trying to, to do that outreach and, and hear from, uh, you know, uh, uh, the community and from uh, diverse voices within our community. So we, we think that's very important too. Uh, something else we've done is, uh, you know, over the last couple of years, we've heard loud and clear from the community that they want to hear more from uh, the local RCMP in Lloydminster. Uh, via traditional media as well as social media. And so I'm happy to say that earlier this year, 
uh, the Lloyd Minister RCMP was approved to create its own uh, Facebook uh, social media pages. So that's allowed us to better inform and connect with the community in a timely ma manner uh, about things that, that matter to the, the Lloyd Minister area specifically. So I think those are a couple of uh, the key priorities that we've been working on, uh, Jace, over the last year and, you know, some of our, our successes. And, you know, we're looking forward to carry on, you know, a lot of this into 2022 as well, particularly, you know, uh, that, that community engagement is important, right? I mean, uh, making sure that we're we're hearing what citizens of Lloydminster want uh, from the from their their uh, police service, right? Being the Lloydminster RCMP and uh, looking to integrate that in a way that respects um, that respects everybody and doesn't uh, uh, you know adversely impact uh, people, right? Uh, and so we're, we're really trying to be mindful of that and, and to hear what uh, the community wants and integrate that into our business planning. But you know, recognizing that uh, you know we still do have some work to do with respect to uh, you know reducing the impact of, of uh, gang violence and things like that. Uh, you know, that uh, I can see that being a carryover focus. Well, I know COVID posed some challenges when it comes to communication with the public, not being able to have those big town halls. So it's great to hear that the RCMP was still conducting uh, virtual town halls and hearing from the public. Now, uh, Lee Brockman, can you just tell me what are you looking forward to and what is the Lloydminster RCMP looking forward to in the new year? Uh, I think we're looking forward to kind of building on on uh, some of uh, our initiatives from from this current year, and and I guess we'll see where the year takes us, right? I mean, this this pandemic, we'll see what happens with that and how that impacts the way that we the way that we engage and the way that we uh, work with the community, and and uh, you know see what what impact that has, if any. But I mean, overall, I think we're really excited continue our work with the community i think we're doing a lot of valuable uh we've taken on a lot of valuable initiatives and and we're seeing some successes there so um, and again uh you know we, we do appreciate and uh you know the the uh the support of the of the, of the community of lloyd minster right i mean uh you know the lloyd minster rcmp is is the police service for for the community of lloyd minster and uh, just know that uh, that we're here for you and we're doing everything that we can to try to uh you know reduce certain areas of, of crime that are of concern and uh, make this community an even safer place